All right, so it's not entirely true, <laughs> but I like the idea of the dark side. So how are you guys doing in this fine morning? It's gonna be a hot day here in Michigan. Today's review is gonna be a little bit different. It's not gonna be earbuds, but it does have something to do with sound. So as you see behind me, Fiano, Fino, Fi... P-H-E-A-N-O-O -O has sent me out their new sound bar and they want me to give you guys an honest review and that's exactly what we intend on doing. So for those who don't know me, my name is Brandon No D, and I like to do tech reviews of all sorts of things as you can see and I also throw in some silly vlogs once in a while. So if any of that dazzles you whatsoever, don't hesitate to subscribe, hit that bell, hit all and you will be on your way in receiving all the videos that I provide. All right, without any further ado, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and plug her in and see how she performs right after this. All right, guys, in the box, you're going to get the user manual for your Fiano P27. You're also going to get a setup guide to connect to your TV and how you want to do it. You also get this mounting template, which I always find nice to have in anything that you want to wall mount. It just makes it that much easier so you don't have to measure and all that good stuff. They also throw in a package of counter sink, I'm gonna say, with out the S. Hmm, kinda weird. I've got two screws and only one counter sink in a package I haven't opened yet. I think that's a mistake. They also include a couple of bumper guards with an adhesive tape on the back and you get your remote with it. But I did notice, however, it did not come with batteries. So you will have to supply your AAA batteries for this remote. I really dug the anti-fingerprint black gloves due to this thing being a fingerprint magnet with the glossy finish. All right, let's go over the cables that come with this. You're gonna get your right and left jack which uh, I don't know how many people are really using this anymore, but they do include it. And they also include your optical cable, and I really like this one because it's nice and thick. Usually you're getting a very thin optical cable with sound bars these days. They decided to give you something with a little more girth, and I am a fan. And speaking of heavy duty, they also include your HDMI cable, which is also nice and thick. Let me tell you guys, they did not skimp when it came to cables for this unit by any means. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a test of my LG that's already connected to my 55 inch LG TV. So go ahead and take a listen. All right, so that definitely has a great sound. All right, let's go ahead and disconnect the LG soundbar and hook up the Fiano P27. All right, now that it's all connected, let's go ahead and turn the power on. Bluetooth activated. So we'll go ahead and uh, connect my phone right away. It's, it'll just say P27. Go ahead and click on that. Boom, we're pairing, hit OK. And it's paired. So we'll be able to play some music in a bit. So you got AUGS, Bluetooth, optical. That's what we need. So when I hit play, what you hear is what I'm going to be hearing for the first time. So here we go. And I don't have the volume connected to the TV, so we're gonna go ahead and turn that all the way down. And we'll go ahead and hit the volume on this. Here we go. God, I love new tech. It even has a bass up or down. Let's check that out. Wow. That is some fantastic sound. I, wow. I wish you guys could be in my living room right now to hear this. It's not doing you any justice on video, but let me tell you, this baby's got some boost. Wow. Wow. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. This is incredible. It's got excellent bass. And uh, looking over the room, I don't know why I'm yelling still, probably because I my ears are deaf. I'm going to adjust the treble. They have 3D on this. Bass boost, all kinds of stuff. Let's go ahead and try the 3D out. Humming. Oh, 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 oh. We're almost there. Just hold on. Next. Don't look back. You're worse than when we've been. Crystal clear, guys. Crystal clear. Trouble. Turn the trouble down or up. There's so much you can do on this remote. It's amazing. And the remote feels good in the hands, too. It's not real cheap plastic like some of them. All right, let's go ahead and try the music out. Let's go to Bluetooth. So we're gonna go ahead and go into my epidemic sounds so I don't get flagged for the music I have on my Spotify. So let's go ahead and jump into there. I'm gonna log in real quick. Nice. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. This, this little baby is... All right. All right, let's go ahead and mute that. Wow, I was pretty impressed. I mean, it shook the walls. This thing is incredible. And I think, uh, did you like it, Daisy? Let's ask her. Hi, did you like it? <laughs> yeah, she's like, uh, meh, it was all right. All right, guys, let's go ahead and finish this review in my studio. And welcome back to my studio. Well, guys, what did you think? I'll tell you what, I really wish you guys could have joined me on my couch to really get the full effect of this soundbar. 
It is amazing. I know I sound like a broken record with all the stuff that I review, but you know what? I do carefully choose who I accept and who I decline when it comes to products. And so far, I've been really lucky with it. Everything that's been sent to me so far that I have used and reviewed for you guys have been top quality. It's been very good products. So that being said, there's always pros and cons. All right, pros are definitely gonna outweigh the cons in this review today. Number one pro, the sound quality that's coming out of this for an affordable price for a sound bar is incredible. I had a great time messing around with the settings, which brings me to pro number two is the remote. Now, let me tell you something, on a lot of remotes that you get from sound bars, you don't get a lot of options, but this one here, has plenty. I mean, from treble adjustment to bass adjustment to preset EQ settings, which gives you the news, movie, or 3D. So I don't know guys, with that kind of price for a remote like that, it's pretty incredible. And like I said, the remote control is constructed of nice high quality material. It feels good in the hand, put it that way. It feels like a premium remote. All right, pro number three is gonna be the template and the wall mounting feature on this. I love the fact that the brackets are built into the sound bar, which makes perfect sense to be able to wall mount it with their template. All right, guys, we're gonna go over the cons and I'm gonna drop the S off that and make it one con and one con only that I found. Well, all right, two cons. First con is definitely the subwoofer not being wireless. I have other sound bars that the subwoofer is wireless and it makes it very convenient to be able to put your subwoofer tucked away behind a couch or somewhere else far enough away from the sound bar. But this one unfortunately has to connect to the sound bar. All right, number two, which really isn't a con, I was just kidding about it, but we're gonna have to say that the screws that were provided, I did not get, I said a countersink, I'm sorry. Actually, I mean a anchor. I only got one anchor, but is that really a con? Absolutely not. I got probably a handful of them in my drawer, so I'm not worried about it. But I think that was a mistake given, and uh, I think you guys can disregard that because most likely if you guys order yours, you'll get what you need in the box. If you guys have any questions of something that I may have missed, don't hesitate to drop me a comment down below and I will certainly try to get back to you as soon as possible. And I'm gonna stop you right there because I'm gonna already answer the number one question and that is going to be what are the dimensions of the subwoofer and the sound bar. So I got you guys covered, don't worry. I'm gonna go ahead and post it right here. All right guys, on the subwoofer, it stands 16 and a half inches tall 10 inches deep and four and a half inches wide. On the sound bar, it stands three inches tall by three inches deep, and the length is 34 inches. So there you go, you've got your dimensions. All right, as far as recommendations on purchasing the Fiano P27 sound bar, not even gonna say it guys, cause you already know the answer by my review. I'm not even gonna say it. So out of the kindness of my heart, I will definitely drop you an affiliate link down below and where you can pick one of these up. All right guys, that's gonna wrap the video up today. I hope you enjoyed this different kind of review today. I've got more stuff coming my way that aren't all earbuds. There's some different things here and there. So I love to do tech reviews. And from the comments that I've been getting, I know you guys enjoy the reviews that I'm putting together for you. And it makes me very, very grateful for each and every one of you. Guys, don't forget to like and share the video as it helps my channel grow. And you know, I will be seeing you in our next video. Sit. No, you sit. You stay. This is what she's after. Now you know the rules. We have to open it, crack it, whoa, that was close. Crack it open, right? And then we're gonna eat it. Oh, there it is. There it is, Daisy. 
All right, are you ready to read our fortune? All right, it says, today is a good time to take some extra relaxation. Relaxation. Yeah, sure. And then how do I edit these awesome videos? <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Oh, here you go, babe. But no, you're gonna stay right there and eat it, right? Yeah, you gotta eat it on camera. Man, I'm still eating mine. Are you all done? Hey, Daisy. Did you eat all yours? Give me five. 